Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to disable, disable online search and web results from appearing when you're searching in the star menu. So if you're used to opening up your star menu and typing in results and you find a lot of web links that you have no interest in, this tutorial will show you guys how to turn that off. So pretty straightforward process here and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to go ahead and start by opening up the start menu, just left click on the start button one time. Type in notepad, N-O-T-E-P-A-D. Best match to go back with notepad here. Go ahead and just open that up. And now I'm going to have something in the description of my video. If I can't actually put it in the description of the video due to different characters that may not be allowed to be pasted in the description of the video on YouTube. I will have this on a paste bin website, so just copy it from there. It should appear exactly as it does right now. I mean, you're more than welcome to copy it letter by letter too, but you're more than likely going to make a mistake at some point. So once you have it as it appears on my screen here, you want to go ahead and just left click on the File tab, select Save As. You want to save this as Disable, so just delete whatever's in here, so Disable start search.reg exactly as it appears on my screen so disable start search should all be one word the s in start and the s in search should both be capital followed by .reg and save as type you want to click inside this drop down and select all files and then the left side here go ahead and save it to the desktop so we can easily run it and then select save and now you can close out of here now we have our registry entry on our desktop. So now you want to go ahead and just double click on it. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. It's going to say adding information can change the value and components of your registry, which obviously that's why we have a registry entry here. We're going to go ahead and select yes. should say it has been successfully added to the registry, so click on OK. And now if we open this up and we type in anything, so let me just type in my YouTube channel name here. Otherwise, we normally be getting web results. We shouldn't be getting any web results now, and you don't see anything. Otherwise, you'd be getting something in this panel over here that would show more than likely the Bing search results for my YouTube channel. So, pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.